With the heat back in town and reaching unhealthy levels yet again, we canvassed a few opinions at street level to find out just how people are coping with the triple threat of heat, haze and water shortages. Uh, well, from what I understand from the authorities, the haze is because of a combination of uh, forest fires, peat fires and open burning. And um, it's not unusual for this time of the year because um, it's the dry season, it's towards the end of the northeast monsoon season. Um, and we haven't been having rain for quite a while. So from what I understand, the air is um, sort of stagnant. So all the haze particles in the air can't escape. Uh, it can't be washed away by rain or it can't be dispersed by wind. Well, I guess first and foremost, Open burning is still happening, although uh, it's it's not allowed, right? And I think maybe, you know, if people are really so irresponsible to keep doing open burning, then the neighbours have to be really vigilant and report it immediately. Don't just um, assume somebody else will report it because it's just going to spread and get bigger. Um, actually, I didn't go out too much. I stayed inside. But, um, yeah, look at the weather. It's like, um, it's a threat to us, so... I, I, I don't personally go out, so <laughs> as I drove along Penchala Link, okay, I saw that, um, as we know, we have global warming and I saw that there's an um, open fire, so um, I, I strongly like suggest that please, please don't like, don't do that. It's, the, it's a threat to the environment, environment, please, please don't add to it. Well, we bought a whole load of pails and stuff and we've stocked up even though my area doesn't come under water rationing for now we're not taking any chances and we've already stocked up and yeah with the haze I am concerned a little because my elder son is asthmatic so whenever the haze tends to come around as it does every now and again yeah he tends to he tends to have sinuses. His sinuses start acting up, or is, has an asthma attack. So it's concerning. Not really good. I've been having sore throat for the past week, and so that's pretty much it. Um, for me, it's pretty normal because we've we've been having hay since I was in primary school. Right. So I'm kind of used to it. Like, I guess carpooling, like uh, I don't have to drive my own car to college, I just follow my parents. Just a small thing lah, I don't know what else to do. Okay. Yeah, I would recycle more, instead of throwing my bottles all inside the rubbish bin. <laughs> Probably recycle them and reuse them. Yeah, we don't want to, live, definitely we don't want to live in such a horrible, horrible environment that will actually cause a health problem to us, right? So it's actually very important that I urge Malaysians to start look things a little bit, uh, be responsible and then be what you call helpful to the environment, play your part as a, as a human and then start to like uh, take things seriously. I would say it's an act of God. So what can you say? Well, you should be, should be cool. Not to get angry, you make things worse and it becomes hotter. Okay. And you might have to think positively and you'll bring rain to the country.